Lola, Dapper Drabby here, and today we're going to go over Galissapod GX. I know this is going to be a little bit late. Um, I was trying to set up a streaming to see if I could just like stream it, and then it would just automatically create a video when I was done. Um, but it looks like a lot more goes into that than simply just looking into it. So today we're going to be playing this first impression, Galissapod GX. Um, now this card is amazing. I've been super hyped for it. Finally was able to get two on the PTCGL. So we're gonna go ahead and play with Glissopod GX. We have first impression, armor press. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks. And then cross and cut GX does 150 damage and you switch this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. So we're starting this deck off with two Glissopods. But let's go over what we have in all. We have two Drampas, one the one full art, one regular. Uh, we have Righteous Edge, uh, Berserk, and Big Wheel GX. Uh, Drampa GX, I went over him a little bit ago. But uh, main attack you're going to use in this de in this is Berserk. If your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on them, this attack does 70 more damage. So we're going to be putting damage on our Galissapods with Rainbow Energies, uh, which allows Drampa to do 150 damage which is very good big wheel is also not a bad gx attack if you're really stuck so with that we got four wind pods the wimp out is seems to be the better one because you can get free retreat right away but it's not always the case i feel like this one the wimp out wind pod is better in the beginning um but this uh scamper away one is better later on so I'm not sure which one's the best to be honest, but uh, at least Wimpod you can actually search with a heavy ball. Uh, the one Wimpod you can at least. So moving on, we have two Resolute Claws Glissopod. I loved playing with this one before. Now we're gonna try it again with the armor ability. Takes 30 less damage from attacks after applying weakness and resistance. And then Resolute Claws, we know what that does. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon GX or a Pokemon EX, this attack does 70 more damage. So, similar to Drampa, can do 150 damage off the bat. Throw a choice band on it, it's doing 180 damage and just smothering things. And then, of course, we have the Glissacod GX. We have two Tapu Leles, uh, pretty standard for most decks. Um, with that Wonder Tag ability, it's really what we use to replace um, and get our supporters that we need. So moving on, we got items. We got two field blowers, so we can get rid of those uh, float stones and the garber toxins. We can get rid of the the fields that we don't want to have our opponent utilize, um, as well as other things. Field blowers just very good. I think two copies in a deck are very good. We have two rescue stretchers to bring back those uh, glissopods, mostly. Uh, anything that we have in our discard that we want to reuse, we can use Rescue Stretcher. Since we only have two Drampas, it's also good for Drampa. Uh, just so we can pull them back, you know? We got, uh, I believe it's just one special charge. Yeah, just one special charge. So we can pull back those rainbow energies, those double colorless energies. So we can keep utilizing them in the deck. We got one Super Rod for any Pokemon and plain energy that we need to bring back, uh, it can be useful in a pinch. We got four Ultra Balls, pretty standard of every deck. Uh, I got a couple different art forms of it. Discard two cards from your hand, you know, choose to search your deck for a Pokemon. Ultra Ball is pretty much in every deck. Okay, we got Acerola, which I believe is a three count. Three count of Acerola, so we can pull those, anytime it gets really badly damaged, you know, pull them back up and put them back down for a clean heal, uh, all the energy, float stones, everything goes back into your hand. It's kind of just a general soft reset, so you can just pull that damage off, make that turn irrelevant that your opponent just had, and just, just go at it again. We have one Bridget to set up our board quickly. This says basic Pokemon EX, so it doesn't say basic Pokemon GX, so you can pull Drampa with this. Ideal setup is Tapu Lele, Bridget, uh, Wimpod, Wimpod, Drampa. That's pretty much what you want to use with Bridget every single time. Uh, we got, it looks like, four Guzmas. Four Guzmas, that's right, four Guzmas. We have no VS Seeker in this format. We're playing standard. 
So uh, it has everything has rotated. There is no more VS Seekers, so we are playing four Guzmas to make sure to make sure we can get Guz uh, we can get Galissapod out of the active when we need to and into the active when we need to. We got four in for general draw support. I believe we have one Plumera, one Plumera, so we can um, discard energy. I don't remember why that's in there, but it's in there. Um, it's like another way to like really do the energy denial when um, you're having Righteous Edge kind of be your only attack. It's kind of like uh, when you're getting energy denial, you, this is kind of like a back at you kind of thing to prevent your opponent from doing the same. And then we have three Sycamores. I love this art form I got from the the black and white Kyurem box. We got a... Was it one Sophocles? Yeah, we are playing one Sophocles as well. Might as well, right? Discard two cards from your hand and draw four cards. Draw support is never a bad thing. Uh, rolling out, we got four choice band. I believe we have four... Uh, let me see. Do we have four uh, float stones? Yes, we have four float stones to round out all the items. Um, float stone is just a really good uh, item card. Let's things retreat easily enough. And four float stones with the Galissapod deck just makes sense. And then for energy, we are playing 13 energy, which is probably a high. But I don't want to be missing any first impressions when I can use them. So we got four double colorless, four rainbow, five grass energy. And that is what basically rounds out our deck. Now this deck is called Berserk Impress because Impression couldn't fit. So this deck is Berserk Impression. Let's go ahead. We'll take it to the Versus Ladder and see how it can do. See if it fares better than the Salazzle, uh, Salazzle Drampa I have built earlier. So... Or I played earlier, I should say. I mean, Salazzle Drample did pretty well, pretty quickly. Um, I think we won that match. Um, and it showcased what the deck can do. Um, I'm probably going to keep these a little shorter because... Because I want to, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to keep them a little shorter uh, so I can get them posted quickly. Uh, if you guys like longer videos... You just can let me know, but uh, it seems like the shorter ones do a little bit better for me personally right now. Um, it just sucks when you play play a match and your deck just does not work at all. Um, I'm not at the point where I can just like pick and choose, so I just I just upload whatever whatever happens, whatever happens I upload. That's basically my motto at this point because yeah, that's what happens. So it looks like we're starting with a wind pod. I don't remember what uh, Halem 111 is playing. Looks like he has a Mewtwo deck box. Uh, so he might be playing a uh, Mega Mewtwo or some Psychic variant of some sort. Maybe it's Espeon Garb. Glalie. Interesting. It's a Glalie. Alright, so we're going to Ultra Ball right away. Uh, I hate to get rid of the Special Charge, but we're probably going to go ahead and Sycamore as soon as possible. Uh, I'll keep one of the Guzman, so we'll get rid of the Special Charge. But for this turn, we are going to Tapu Lele. Into a... Uh, Bridget... And Bridget's going to get us at least two Wimp Pods and a Drampa Down. Which is ideal. Um, Wimp Pod, Wimp Pod, Drampa. No, pretty Drampa. There we go. We are on our way. I'm going to go ahead and retreat into Drampa and end my turn. Now we're going to have to watch out for Beacon on this next turn. Beacon is going to get them the exact cards they need. Are they playing Mega Glalie then? That's kind of strange. Mega Glalie... Garbodor maybe? How many items have I played? Just two, so we better keep it that way. Let's see, what is, what is Halem 11 something mark do? 
Okay, so Vulpix throws an energy on Vulpix, so this is a Nine Tails deck with Glalie as a tech for those big one hit KOs. I believe that's what they're doing. Instant Freeze. Yeah, they're trying to do 150 damage with Instant Freeze when they're not attacking with their Nine Tails. Sorry for that noise, I had to cover the mic for a second. Okay, so what is this Alola Ninetales deck going to do to us? A beacon, huh? We knew that was going to happen. So, unfortunately, we do not have an N. But... Really, just beaking for another... For Bench Barrier, Master Mime, and an Alola Vulpix. And we get the float. We get the float. So, unfortunately, there's two Guzmas down. That's two Guzmas down. So let's go ahead, bring him up here. Um, we can actually evolve our other one as well. Put some pressure down. And go ahead and retreat. And just start swinging with that first impression. It's like two two uh, two cards that have some quick burst damage, Glissapod and Drampa. So it kind of makes the games quick. Like your opponent has to keep up with you in this. Um, otherwise, they they fall behind too quickly. Because I mean, Glissapod, as you just saw, can hit 120 on turn two. It can probably hit 150 if I had a choice band on it. And that's turn two with a no, with no energy attachment on the first turn, which is kind of crazy. So we have Glalie up here. Glalie. Um, if we get a choice band and a double colorless, ah, uh, paralyze. Field blowers are doing nothing for us right now. If I put a float stun on him, can he retreat? I don't think he can. Yeah, I guess this will tell me, right? Yeah, I can't even click on him. Okay. Good to know. We're going to go ahead and put the Grass Energy on to the Glissopod. We will end. Unfortunately, it gives our opponent some more cards. But uh, it seems like it might be worth it. Um, we can retreat this Glissopod next turn. And what is it with these two Fuel Blowers? They are stuck to each other. So with that Perilous, we're just going to pass our turn. They got lucky with that. And we have an Alola Ninetales. Not surprised that that's coming out. Ooh, what's in their prize cards? A Rangaroo, Max Elixir, Fighting Fury about Kukui. I wonder what that tells us about their deck. They seem like they're going to rely on the Alola Ninetales uh, small Aurora Beam right now. Luckily, I think Glissopod can two-shot that. The non... Um, GX version, because the GX version can't uh, touch it. A field blower for those floats. Yikes. That is four ways of retreat that are gone. Ice Breath for the uh, Perilous again. And we get the DCE. So let's go ahead and put the DCE on the back Galissapod. And there's nothing else we can play. Wow, we are stuck. Stuck, 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 stuck. I thought we had, were in the firm lead here. But this Glalie has gotten super lucky with these coin flips. Letting our opponent just set up on the other side. If they get a DCE on their Alola Ninetales, then we are going to be um, out of luck without being able to retreat this Galissapod GX. We need that Guzma to come through. Uh, let's see, are they going to go ahead and paralyze me again? 
probably Water Water, Alolan Vulpix with that Super Rod. Lily for more cards. Four more cards. Should just call it Shaman. <laughs> Lily's a Shaman. They get the tails. Finally, finally I can do something about it. Um, unfortunately, Crossing Cut does not take him out. Uh, so we are just going to Armor Press for a simple 100 damage and see what our opponent decides to do next turn. If we had the Floatstone, we could have used that, but what do they have on this? Bodybuilding Dumbbell, so it has 150 HP right now. That's not bad. Haven't been able to do anything draw-wise. Even if I had uh, Sophocles, I could do something. They cannot get that Glalie out, so that is a lost cause. But it seems like it's still going to be better for me to uh, keep Glissopod GX out right now until I can um, start swinging with the, the smaller Glissopod. Hey, Guzma! The Guzma bringing out the Drampa against the Ninetales. So that kind of sticks us in a hard place. Floatstone on the Glalie. Drampa takes 80 damage. Yikes. So let's get rid of those two uh, tools right away. Yeah, I don't want you to have either one of those. You're just going to add to it. And big wheel. Because we are in a bind. There are some cards we can utilize. So worst case scenario, our opponent does in us. But that's not a big deal. Because right now, I can... Come in and hit him for 80 damage. Yeah. Worst case, worst case scenario, I retreat Drampa next turn manually. Best case scenario, I either get a Guzma or I use that Ace of Rolla in my hand. Um, unfortunately, I cannot just hit him and knock him all out uh, unless I shut off abilities. This is where Hex Maniac would be great. Or where uh, the reason why Glissopod was played with Garbodor in, um, in at Worlds was to uh, give rid of, get, get around this Alolan Ninetales with the 110 HP. Knocking out the Trampa GX. Wow. That's a good two, clean two prizes. So what do we want to do this turn? They have another one, don't they? Yeah, so we're going to have to win this with our smaller Glissopod. So let's go ahead and throw that down there. Throw the rainbow energy down on it. We can pull the Drampa out. Eh, but we don't have an energy for him just yet, so let's not. Don't have anything over there I want. So I might just Sophocles here, actually. That's Sophocles. We'll give it a Drampa and Sycamore. Gives us four more cards. Uh, where is the choice band most useful? Probably on the Glissopod GX. But I'm not definite. Let's go ahead. We will Resolute Claws. Do 80 damage to this thing. It'll do 80 damage back. Well, actually, maybe less with armor. And then we will do 80 damage to knock it out. 
it'll come back with the other one. We'll come back with our other Glycopod, and we'll just trade these uh, stage one evolutions for each other. At least that's the way it should really come down to it. But then they just have Glalie left. Skyla? Uh oh, what's what's malfunctioning here? Skyla for the Ultra Ball, maybe? So we're pretty even on our deck's size that's left. I have 17 cards left. He has 18. And I'm still wondering if he's playing the Alolan Ninetales GX. This deck does kind of wall me. Still weak to metal, okay. Good to know it's weak to metal. Okay, what you deciding, dude? A Guzma! You can't use that till next turn. So, he planned on trapping my, um, something in the active. We'll make him waste that, Skyla. By using an N of our own. So... With Rescue Searcher, I could get both the Drampas back, but I think I'm only wanting one. I could play them all, actually, right now. What's my play here? Oh, they only hit me for 50. I can survive, too. Ooh, I get the Super Rod, though. Super Rod puts them both back. And I could keep the rescue stretchers. Uh, first things first, let's put the double colors onto that one. We're definitely going to end, but the question is what to do here. I guess I'm going to rescue stretcher. Put the Drampas back. Ultra Ball. Throw away the two energy. Grab. Ooh, that's a good point. Maybe I should just grab the Wimpod. Now nah, it's going to be easier to set up the Drampa. So we're going to set up another Drampa here. Set up another Drampa Super Rod. Those two energy. And we are going to N for five cards. We get a Guzma. We get a Float Stone. We get a lot of things we can use. So, uh... the choice band on this one and this one's just going to be attacking this uh, nine tails we'll take out the nine tails it's one more prize we'll take the middle one which is another choice band we have all of our choice bands on the field or in our hands and we got the guzma so when they if they guzma us we can just counter guzma They threw it on the Orangaroo. That was a misplay. That had to be a misplay. <laughs> he could have attacked with nine tails, but he put the energy on a Orangaroo. I mean, Galissapod would have survived, but still. That's kind of big. Because I'm still set up for Resolute Claws. Still set up for the Resolute Claws. There's the Guzma. That's fine. I can Guzma myself or I can Float Stone and take you out that way. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Float Stone, first impression. 
and then we'll ba be back to the Alola Ninetale versus Galissapod non-GXs to see who comes out on top. No, he didn't get it. Ooh, <laughs> Plumera. That would be nasty right now. Go ahead and float stone, retreat into the Galissapod. Since we're not using it, Plumera, a choice band, and a rescue stretcher to get rid of this DCE on Ninetales. And then we're just going to first impression because it does more damage. 150 damage for two prize cards. Which is rainbow energy and an N. Two cards we can utilize. Can throw the rainbow down on Drampa. We can either N or Guzma depending what they threw in. So they threw in Alola Ninetales. They're hoping that I'll be stuck in the active even though I can retreat. And a Ranguru. Draw power of one. Roar beam to get 110 damage. We are going to go ahead and put the Grass Energy down on Drampa. We will... Ooh, this is a good point. How much? 70. So we can take a prize here. We can actually take a prize here. So we will take the Bench Barrier prize. Throw in our uh, Glucopod with less damage on it. Go ahead and Resolute Claws that Mr. Mime for another prize card. So it's down to a Rengaru. Or Ninetales, depending which one they utilize. I think they're just going to stick to a Rengaru now. Bad choice. Bad choice. Unless they're going to retreat a Rengaru. Fuel blower! They're fuel blowing everything off! There goes a choice band and a float stone. Probably. Yep, choice band. Ah, oh, the two choice bands. What's a, the, the float stone was the bigger threat. You don't have a... Uh... Oh my god. They just saved me. They're gonna hate me so bad right now. Look at this. They just saved me by removing... By removing that one, I can just first impression for the win. Oh my. So see, there's the power of Glissapod. And you saw how both were useful there. Um, Resolute Claws can be good for like things like those Ninetales, clearly. It's also good against GXs. Like, if Tabu Lele stepped up, Glissapod... Uh, Non-GX with a Choice Band can just easily knock that out. Um, I mean, this wasn't a meta deck, but, you know, it did have an Alolan Ninetales GX, Taurus GX, Glalie EX in it, and was really mostly an Alolan Ninetales uh, non-GX deck. So it was an anti-GX deck, and considering we had a GX deck, um, that that's pretty big. I think that that's a pretty good win. Still, see, G Galissapod GX got the win, so... That's very cool. Let's go ahead and we'll open up a couple packs. Um, and I will save this deck list for you guys and post it down below. So you can um, copy paste it into your own TCGO. And possibly uh, see if it works out as well for you as it did for me. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go way down here and open up all my uncommon chests. Gives you coins and cards. Coins and cards. Motham. <laughs> These things are claiming they're rare. Or a Choreo Reverse Rare. Oh, so I have a crazy story about, you know, packs of cards today. I decided to open one not on the, on the YouTube. And, ooh, Reverse Royal Kamala. There's our finish right there. Do-do-do. Kamala Kamatos. And this pack was so wrong. Like, I opened it up, and the first thing I saw was not a common. Ooh, a mini or. Uh, it was a uh, 
I'm just going to go ahead and open up all these one ofs, I think. So one of the boundaries crossed. So the first thing I saw was not an uncommon. The first thing I saw was a reverse foil um, gly, gly score. But it gets better. Behind the gly score was a reverse foil tentacle. Behind the tentacle was a reverse foil jangmo. Behind that was a reverse foil carvana. Behind that was a reverse foil trevenant, which is a rare. And behind that was a reverse foil requaza. And then it even had a hollow in the pack. The hollow was a gudra. Like, that was a crazy pack. Um, I don't know how reverse foils got mixed in with uh, commons, but you know what? I'm going to take it. Like, it was a really good pack. So I didn't even see what I got in the last one. Probably wasn't anything good. Braviary! That's kind of cool. Everything's new. New, 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 new. I will open up some flash fire because we have it. Just, no one's going to trade for it, so maybe we can get that Charizard. Not that we need it, we already have three of the evolutions one. Oh, we got the fortress. What else do we get? I think we got three more of these, right? That looks like the same pack. Ultra Ball and a Meow Stick. Oh, that one has the ear influence too. That's legal. That's actually legal, guys, because that's uh, reprinted in Generations. So actually, I want more of those because I did want to play around with that. And a reverse is a shift tree, and our rare isn't. Yes! You'll never see anybody excited about a meow stick, but that, I've been wanting that, so thank you. Hey, blacksmith, expanded, here we come, and a floet flower veil. Floet flower veil. So that's all for today, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys have any uh, GXs you guys want to see. I haven't seen very many comments on these, but. Uh, if you guys have a deck you guys want, want to see me build, how what my uh, view on it is, uh, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section, and I will try to go ahead and do it. Like I, like I said, these are the GXs I have, so feel free to name any of them that you want to see. Maybe, maybe you want to see a Sylveon deck, and I'll show you my Sylveon deck. Actually, I think I only have one. I only have one. So maybe, yeah, just let me know if you guys want to see an evolutions, where it's like a bunch of the different evolutions, and I'll try to show you what an evolution deck looks like. So, I mean, without further ado, this has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys aloha, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.